All right, Shalom, Shalom Rastafari. This is a, a video, part of a video called Age of Deceit. It's on the YouTube, it's the full version. It's called Fallen Angels and the New World Order. It's, it's a pretty, um, I would say, effective program. It's, it's accurate in, in a general Christological Christianity way, but it's kind of interesting, like a lot of programs that are out there by so-called European or Gentile Christians that they can name all kind of um, um, evil that's going on in the world, but rarely do they talk about like white supremacy. Um, rarely do they talk about um, the suffocation, um, um, Jacob's trouble, the suffocation of of the black Jews or the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But then the Holy Spirit reminds I and I that that's our role and responsibility. But in a general way, it's a program, it's a, actually a, a video um, that I would recommend to ones to check out to get some of the basics. Now, we want to just go over within these 19 or so minutes we have right here, we want to go over something that Bush, George Bush, Baby Bush, um, Bush uh, Jr., you know what I mean? Um, something he said when he was... Um, inaugurated when he was inaugurated inaugurated um, back in uh, 2000 or so so we're gonna just rewind this video and just play a portion of this from from the beginning or near the beginning so you can check it out all right okay uh, here we go they want to rule the world their goal is to reduce the population to a half billion with a few of them as the right, you know, the, the elite get to rule the world. God has plans for the world, and so does Satan. And Satan's plan is no people here, maybe just a few, and a one world government. The Bible says perilous times shall come. The people who are fierce, despisers of those that are good, Christians are going to be absolutely hated. Okay, now, pause, okay, that, that was Bush, right, in the, the, the so-called 2000 election when he said that um, allegedly it was uh, stolen or whatnot, gore, but that was a whole setup, as many of you all probably already know. Um, now, let's just play this one more time. He, he's quoting, George Baby Bush is quoting an area of scripture, right? Well, so to say, to say this plan is no people here, maybe just a few. And a one world government. The Bible says perilous times shall come. The people who are fierce, despisers of those that are good, Christians are going to be absolutely hated. Why do the nations conspire and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the king of kings and against his anointed, against Christ. Yes. 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 We know the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Do you not think an angel rides in the whirlwind and directs this storm? Now, okay, you, you got that. He says, the race is not to the swift, the battle not to the strong. Do you not think that an angel rides its whirlwind and directs its storm, right? Now, it sounds very poetical, very kind of uh, uh, Shakespearean, um, so to speak. And it sounds biblical, but now if we turn our Bibles, right, turn your Bibles, get your Bibles, go to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, the book of Ecclesiastes is Old Testament, and it comes after, it comes after Proverbs. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 11, yes, chapter 9, 11. Now get out, this, this is what, 2000, 
1999, party party in like 1999, then then 2000 came along, right? It was in 2000, right? The whole election, um, Bush versus Gore, Bush v. Gore, or Gore v. Bush, or whatever, like that. And if you look at Ecclesiastes, now Ecclesiastes is an interesting book. Those who have the Schofield reference Bible, just go to the first part of Ecclesiastes for a moment. You go to the first part of Ecclesiastes, where it gives a little description, and I like the Schofield's um, translators. Um, they say right here, this is the book of man under the sun, under the sun, recognizing this is 2012 and all of the manifestation of prophecies and signs that are related to the sun, you understand, and the, the whole solar manifestations in this prophetic time. So this is the book of man under the sun, reasoning about life. It is the best man can do with the knowledge that there is a holy God and that he will bring everything into judgment. The key phrases in this book, Ecclesiastes, or the preacher, um, or the preacher are under the sun, I perceive, I said in my heart, those three. Inspiration set down accurately what passes, but the conditions and reasonings are after all man's. Many people refer to, like the book of Ecclesiastes, but there's something that we need to understand about this book, that those conclusions are just in declaring it vanity, kentu kentu, hulu kentu, no, in view of judgment to devote life to earthly things, to earthly things is surely true. But the conclusion that we find in chapter 12, verse 13, they say is legal, the best that man apart from redemption can do, and does not anticipate the gospel. They, they do not anticipate the gospel of his imperial majesty, the gospel of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Edomawi, Haile Shalase, Shiumek Ziare, Nagusha Nagesh, the Ethiopia. Now, Ecclesiastes is in five parts, like the Torah, like the Psalm of David, the five parts. Now, what's interesting right here is that it's the best thing possible to the natural man apart from God. The best things possible. Now, it's interesting that George Bush, Bush, baby Bush, would quote, or really misquote, or really partially quote, chapter 9 verse 11, the best thing possible to man under, under the law. This is what Ecclesiastes is all about. Now, think about that in the whole Freemasonic connection, but overall, think about the fact that when you go to chapter 9, verse 11, here's what you find. I returned and saw under the sun, under the sun, that the race is not to the swift nor the battle or the battle to the strong. Isn't that what George Bush said? The race is not for the swift, the battle is not for the strong. Um, somebody in this whirlwind, the angel that guides the storm, or, or do you not see, or something like that. You talk about some angel, right? You would think that's the next thing that is said in verse 11 of Ecclesiastes, the preacher, chapter 9, or Ecclesiastes 9.11. The race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. But here's what the preacher says. Neither yet bread, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happeneth to them all. In other words, Bush had to get into office at that time, irregardless of the fact that Gore probably really had more votes on his side, but that was the time, right? Because remember what happened in 9-11-2001, and remember what was said on 9-11-1991 um, um, by this man's very father, um, Herbert Bush or Walker Bush, Bush, whatever Bush, Bush Sr., his father, George Bush, this Bush, baby Bush, right, father, right? So it says, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Bamarinya, according to the Metzhaf Kedus, the book of the seven seals of his imperial majesty, says, in name temalesuhu, kat ahai betachim rucha 
לשאת אנוש, סלסם לחיילן, אינג'רם לתאביבן, בלת אגנתם לאסטואיוש, מוגסם לאוות איוות, שנדה לו הונה איהו, גזענה אדל גן חולון יגנן יצ'ואל. Alright, now, here's what you have to understand about this. So what George Bush here says, he adds in something. That's the key thing. He quotes part of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. Or he quotes Ecclesiastes 9, 11 in part. But then he adds something about a whirlwind, right? There's an angel, the, the angel in the whirlwind that guides this storm. What storm was he talking about in 2000 in his inauguration? You understand? In his inauguration. What was he speaking about then? That's what it says right up there. C-SPAN inauguration says 2000 and what? 2001? That's what it says up there? Probably can't see it from this distance, but check out the vid, age of deceit, full version, fallen angels, and the new world order. So we saw this quote years ago, you know, years ago, and we were trying to find it in our archives, and we wonder why nobody else had touched on this. Like George Bush, he partially quotes Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. But now let's go to Revelation chapter 9 in the time that we have here. Let's go to Revelation, Johannes Rai, or the vision of God's grace, chapter, chapter 9. And let's go to verse 11. This is, a lot of folks have already gone here, but not in connection with George Bush's quote that we have here, and not connecting these two. It says right here in verse 11, Bamarinyask Edmo, firstly in the Mark, the Metafkidus, but in Arusum lai Nagush Aracho, Arusum yet ilika malak, yet ilika malakno, Simum be Ibraist. Abdon the Greek Apollyon Yebalal. Targo, the translation, and they had a king. And they had a what? They had a king. You remember? I think it was that guy from Hardball or Chris Matthews. Something was going on, I think, with the 9 11 thing. I think he's going underground there that says, Bush is like a king. He's like a king. He kept talking this king, king, kingly kind of thing. And some MSNBC, some of y'all probably seen it, and if y'all want to rework this, y'all can edit that part and, 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 and connect this to the fulfillment of this prophetic word in this space and time. But it says in verse 11, and they had a king, they had a what? A king over them, which is the what? Angel of the bottomless, the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Ab. Uh, Abaddon, Abaddon, like abandoned in the sense abandoned, Abaddon, right? Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue, hath his name Apollyon, Apollyon. Now we know the fallen angels and demons, the angel and demons, the um, so-called satanic uh, world order, pseudo new world order in this age of deceit. We know that these names play prominently within their religion, within their belief system, within their world and seclorum worldly view. Now let's, let's listen to George Bush again within the um, remaining time that we have in this right here. Let's see if we can go to George Bush right around, um, we might have to get part of the, the crocodile. Let's get part of the crocodile, right? And let's play it from here. In this period, when really a new world order can be created, it's a kind of opportunity and it's a big crisis. We know the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Do you not think an angel rides in the whirlwind and directs this storm? <laughs> now, that's interesting. So do you not think that an angel, don't you think, that an angel does what? That, that there's an angel that rides in this uh, whirlwind, right? So it's an angel, they believe, it's their belief that it's an angel in the whirlwind that is directing some storm. Now, it, it's so very interesting that he says this when he says this, 
right? Let's see if we can bring this back right here. He says this when he says this. So this is a little bit further on in the vid. He says this when he says So what we have to do is connect two 9-11 verses, right? We have to connect two 9-11 verses. See if you can get that clip, that clip right there. This was George Bush's face. Just put him on the still right there so they know who we're talking about. And maybe if we, if we play it one more time. But you've heard the clip. He basically quotes Ecclesiastes, the book of Ecclesiastes, the preacher, right? The preacher, Ecclesiastes or the preacher, which is very interesting. And we keep saying it's very interesting because if, uh, if you recognize that, that what, what this book really speaks about, right? This book is in five parts, and the themes are unfolded, right, in the light or being revealed of human sufferings, being revealed in, in, in context of human sufferings. This is what we have seen during these, um, these years, uh, an increase. That's, it's probably good there. We'll probably play that before we go into the outro of this within a couple of minutes. Because this is, a, this is just a, a 1933, the old town, 1934, which is interesting. We'll try to play the clip where they show you that I think it was Ron Paul on Capitol Hill, and they haven't had gold. The, go the economy of America haven't been backed by gold since four years after Kedemawi Haile Selassie uh, um, ascended to the throne of Great King David, which is the throne of God, fulfilling that black Messiah or the Messiah, the true Messiah, returning or Christ in his kingly characters. But this book, Ecclesiastes, the preacher, it unfolds in the light of human sufferings, of hypocrisies, of uncertainties, of poverty, of and riches, right? It's the best thing possible to the natural man, to, not the spiritual, not the supernatural man, not the born again man, not the regenerated man, but the so-called um, devolution. You know what I'm saying? The devolution man. You know what I'm saying? The natural man who is apart from Jah, who is apart from God. Right? And it's the best things, it shows the best things possible to man living under law. Now, recall that interview with Bush, with Bush Sr., where he talked about not the law, not the law, the jungle. You know what I'm saying? Not the law, the jungle. You know what I mean? Where he's, where, you, so you see what he's basing it on. They're basing it on a, a mischief, as the scripture says, because of mischief. You know what I'm saying? The mischief of the law. So once again, Chapter 9, verse 11 is very interesting. And I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Then intro George Bush, you understand? Don't, do not think that there's an angel in the whirlwind that guides the storm. But the Bible says, neither yet bread to the wise. So we have a lot of people who graduate from college with degrees, can't even get a job like that, like that shooter guy, you know, John, James Holmes or whatever. You know, he's a big neurology, big whiz kid and everything, and he was slinging burgers at Mickey D's or something, and they said this might have been what drove him to that to that, 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 that murder or whatever like that. But anyway, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding. A lot of folks can tell you, I know how the economics works. They went to school for economics, but they're not rich. You know what I'm saying? So they have understanding of it, but they're not rich in it. Nor yet favor to men of skill, but time, but time. Like a lot of the skillful people, people have skills, can't even get jobs. But time and chance. You know what I'm saying? And chance, happiness, you know what I'm saying? Happiness to all of them. And notice the next verse, 9, 12. For man also knoweth not his time. You see, so people didn't know. It's clear George Bush and company knew his time. Let's just play this on the... On the so the Satan's plan is not only a here, maybe just a few, and a one world government. Bible says perilous times shall come. The people with fierce despisers of those that are good, Christians are going to be absolutely hated. Created, 
We know the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Do you not think it